watching Tita Fit. My name is Jerdan, and in this channel, we talk about health, fitness, wellness, and that kind of thing. We come out with two videos a week every Wednesday and Saturday afternoon. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of our new videos. In today's video, we are going to talk about something we've heard a lot of in recent years. So you've probably heard a lot about gut health, and maybe you know a little bit about it. Maybe you don't know much about it. Maybe you're not familiar with the topic. Let us know in the comments down below if you like this kind of topic. Alright, so anyway, we're going to talk about gut health. Anyway, what is the gut? So the gut is a collection of your hollow organs starting from the mouth, the esophagus, the stomach, the small intestines, the large intestines, and your butthole, <laughs> aka your anus, not the planet. Okay, all right, sorry. I know I'm Tita H, but sometimes I can get a little bit juvenile. Anyways, so that comprises the gut, and in that gut, basically your gastrointestinal tract, there are trillions and trillions of organisms, mainly bacteria, that live there. So all of that bacteria, those trillions and trillions of bacteria actually outnumber the amount of human cells we have in our body, in which why some of the experts in this field argue that we are actually more a bacterial species rather than human. <laughs> Alright, so think of it this way. The Earth has a population of about 8 billion people. Now your body has a population of trillions of bacteria. So think of yourself as a planet or as an ecosystem or as a habitat, also known as the microbiome. So the microbiome is the diversity of all those bacteria in your gut. Now why is this important? It's important because recent studies, remember, okay, just to note, a lot of this science is fairly new and we don't know that much yet. A lot of the science is evolving, they're finding out new things every day, every year, things like that. So the ancient uh, physician, well technically he is the father of modern medicine, Hippocrates from Greece, he said that all disease begins in the gut. And there is some truth to that even he, if he was alive thousands of years ago, there is some truth to that because a lot of your immune system response is now to discovered to be associated with your gut. So basically, if you have a good immune system, most likely your gut is healthy. Now the opposite of that is what is known as leaky gut. It means that the permeability of your intestinal walls, or basically there's a barrier there, compromised cha. So what happens is bacteria and toxins leak into your bloodstream thereby causing a number of symptoms. Some of these symptoms include constipation, bloating, IBS or irritable bowel syndrome, a lot of skin problems. So uh, this could manifest if you're like a grown ass adult and you're like, what, in your 30s and you're still suffering from acne, this could be related to some gut issues and some gut dysbiosis. So dysbiosis means that the number of bad bacteria outnumber the good bacteria. So how do we improve our gut health? The way to improve gut health is to increase the number of good bacteria. And just like the earth, there's so many different kinds of people, so many different kinds of species, the same applies to your gut. There's so many different kinds of bacteria in you and a lot of them are good. And these are known as probiotics. On the other hand, they, these, these organisms have to eat. So what they eat, the food that they eat to make them thrive is known as prebiotics. So prebiotics, we get these from fibrous rich foods, veggies, uh, polyphenols, things like that, a lot of good foods. So the goal to increase the number of uh, good bacteria is related to improving your gut health. Now, make sure to supplement with probiotics. I do that. But at the end of the day, it's a drop in the bucket. So even if you supplement with probiotics, which is like billions in a capsule, so you can have billions and billions of capsule, uh, don't just take like um, a drink, like a lactobacillus drink, like Yakult or something like that, or yogurt, because usually 
these only have about one or two strains of bacteria which are usually lactobacillus based. So to increase the number of good bacteria in your body, you want to supplement with a probiotic. Probiotics like lactobacillus and bifidobacterium are some, some examples of probiotics. Now, here's the thing. Now, we do like to talk about fitness in this channel and there have been some links with certain bacteria proliferating in the body and uh, body weight. For example, the bacteria called Firmicutes has been associated with being overweight. So overweight people have more of these Firmicutes. On the other hand, people who are not overweight or skinnier people have been found to have more Bacteroidetes. So we're gonna put that here. So I know it's hard to pronounce, whatever, but we're gonna put them there. Dito Austin, ito na bala. So, uh, Bacteroidetes for skinnier people and Firmicutes for people who are more overweight. Now, the thing is, they found that you can't supplement with either of these uh, probiotics or these bacteria. You cannot. Like, they simply are not available in pill form. And uh, with debate to the pill uh, or the supplement, some of them have even been brought, have even questioned if you're able to absorb them simply because do they actually pass through the digestive system intact or are they destroyed by the acids or things like that. But, anyways. The way to increase these uh, bacteroidetes is to give them their food, which is actually polyphenols. Polyphenols can be found in coffee. Dark chocolate. Of course, you're not going to go for milk chocolate since that has a lot of sugar. And sugar has been known to cause gut dysbiosis or basically feed the bad bacteria instead of the good bacteria. So to have a good microbiome, a good healthy microbiome, some of the things you should do are supplement with probiotics, eat prebiotics. Now, one of the, aside from the supplements that you can take, there are a lot of them are found in foods. So things like fermented foods like kimchi, yogurt, sauerkraut, for Filipinos, achara, uh, things like that. Kefir, if you're into that, from fiber-rich foods like vegetables, like spring onions, Things like that. So you are gonna get a lot of prebiotics from that and they will actually improve the diversity of the microbiome in your gut. Now, here's what you want to avoid on the other hand. You want to avoid eating things like a lot of sugar in your diet, a lot of white flour in your diet, a lot of wheat, things like that. Contribute to gut dysbiosis or increase or feed the number, feed the bad bacteria. Now it's an ever, it's an ever raging battle that spans centuries. <laughs> no, it's not, not an intro for a Marvel movie, but it's a consistent daily battle between the good bacteria and the bad bacteria in your gut. And you just want to make sure that most of the time the good wins, okay, because your immune system is involved. So if anything, those are the takeaways from that. So let me know if you want a deeper dive into this. Do we want to talk more about good bacteria and bad bacteria? Personally, I supplement with probiotics. You may or may not choose to. This is not medical advice. This is just what I do and what works for me, what I've found works for me. Uh, I know for a fact that I don't have leaky gut simply because leaky gut is, um, I don't have any of those symptoms I talked about earlier. And I rarely, rarely ever get sick. When it comes to probiotics and prebiotics, I think they will do more good than harm if you decide to use them. Now, as I said, the science is fairly new. It's ever-evolving. So make sure to watch out for this space. Watch this space to find out more about them in the future. Let us know in the comments down below. Do you guys, are you guys conscious about your gut health? Do you guys uh, take any supplements like probiotics? Do you eat prebiotic-rich foods like kimchi? Things like that. So let us know in the comments down below, guys. I love, I love to uh, engage with you guys down in the comments, especially on YouTube. If you haven't yet, please follow us on Instagram. Tito Fit PH, my personal Instagram at Jeridan underscore and Tito Austin if you want to see him uh, his journey from road to Shargao Dosha guys so let's hold him accountable to road to Shargao <laughs> road to Shargao guys so let us know Tito Austin Lalabas. we will be waiting for pics Tito Austin road to Shargao a few months pa naman eh. so abangan natin <laughs> see ya